In the instance that you don't have a large enough volume of glaze to fully submerse your bisque ceramic, then you will need to use the pouring method of applying glaze. It's a little bit trickier than dipping, and there is a bit of a knack to it, so it might take you a few goes to get it right. But I'm gonna demonstrate it for you now. Firstly, what I've done is decanted some of my glaze into a separate jug. And I have the original container here, which ultimately I'm gonna be pouring the glaze back into. I have my bisque object. I make sure my hands are nice and clean and I pick up the object by the outside. I'm gonna rotate it as far one direction as I can in my hand and I'm gonna pick up my glaze. I'm gonna pour my glaze into the bisque object and as soon as the glaze touches the bisque, it's gonna start depositing the glaze on the inside of that ceramic. So we need to act quickly to make sure that the glaze does not get too thick. I'm gonna pour it in and then as I pour the cup out, I'm gonna rotate it in my hand to make sure that we have a nice even coverage on the inside of the vessel. I'll do that now. There we go. I can now just dip the rim ever so slightly to catch any bits that I missed. And we set that down to dry. As I didn't have enough volume of glaze in my bucket to submerse my object fully, I'm now gonna dip that outside and I'm gonna use the displacement of the object to raise the level of glaze with inside the bucket so that I can fully coat the bisque. Now that the glaze is fully dry, it is handleable, but you do have to be careful and delicate with it. I've waxed the foot rim of this object to stop any glaze sticking to that part, and I'm just gonna put my hand inside and splay my fingers out until I have a good grip of the object. I'm then gonna place that above the bucket, and I'm gonna dip downwards and in until it fully covers hold for a couple of seconds and bring the object back out. And once the glaze is dry, it will be ready to pop in the kiln. 